Hey everybody, welcome to video 14 in the SMA Journey 51 series. I received a lot of great information from CureSMA over their webinar that they did February the 14th, just last week. They sent me the links to their slideshow presentation that they used, and they also sent me the link to the webinar itself. They finally finished the production on it. And I said I was going to provide all of these links in the description field of video 11, which is where I did the recap of the webinar, and I'll still do that. But I'll also, you know, I thought it would be good to go ahead and do another video and show you some of these screens that they send me because I think it'll answer a lot of questions. But please also go down into the description field and click on the link and watch the webinar because they gave some great information. So let's get started. The first slide that you're seeing on your screen talks about how they went about pricing Spinraza with regards to other diseases that, are, uh, that people have in the United States. As you can see down on the bottom where it talks about high cholesterol, they've got 43 million people that are on therapy for this disease. And right now, their annual list price is only $150 because they can spread it over the amount of people that are actually taking the treatment. Remember, SMA is considered an orphan disease. An orphan disease is defined as a disease that really not a lot of people are afflicted with compared to other diseases in the United States. There are 200,000 people on therapy for hepatitis C, and there are 9,000 people on therapy for cystic fibrosis. And you can see that their cost is spread out by the number of people that are affected or, or that are afflicted with that particular disease. The reason why SMA is so expensive is that right now there may only be 5,000 people on the therapy. So to recoup their loss or the cost that uh, Biogen spent on developing Spinraza, they have to make this number high because that's the only way they're going to recoup the amount of money that they spent on getting it approved. But, you know, will this cost go down? I think it may go down a little bit, but given the fact that there are not near as many SMA patients as there are patients with hepatitis C or cholesterol, I still think this is going to be a relatively expensive procedure to go through. And again, this is uh, the main reason why I say that I believe this is going to be an insurance issue because not everybody's going to have the money to pay for this out of their own pocket. The next slide that you're seeing talks about insurance and how insurance is having to deal with the Spinraza treatment. You know, right now, a lot of insurance companies are still really trying to wrap their arms around this treatment and figure out how they're going to pay for it. They want more uh, test results. They want to see more publications. Uh, a lot of them want ongoing proof. So if you're approved to take the treatment, your, the insurance company may want ongoing proof from your doctor. So they may require your doctor to send test results to show that the treatment is actually benefiting you. So don't be surprised if this happens. But one of the things that Cure SMA did point out, and it's in this slide down on the bottom, was it says, don't get discouraged, okay? Because a lot of people are going to be denied this treatment the first you know, couple of times that they apply for it. Again, insurance is still trying to absorb all of this information and figure out how they're going to handle it. So don't be surprised if you get denied. Keep your head up because most, if not all, insurance companies will eventually agree to this treatment. If you've got private insurance, uh, you're probably going to be approved much quicker than people that have uh, Medicaid or Medicare like I do. But again, uh, keep your head up. Things are going to change for the better. The next slide that you're seeing on your screen talks about sites and capacity. Right now, there are 20 to 30 sites in the U.S. that are administering the Spinraza treatment. What they would like is that they want 200 to 300 sites that are going to be doing the loading doses and the actual uh, every three-month injection. So or it's a, actually, I think it's every four months. So uh, don't give up hope if there's not a treatment site close to you. Uh, you can't just wake up one day and go, I'm going to be a treatment site. You have to get approval by Biogen, and there's a lot of uh, hoops and steps that uh, have to be taken before you can start administering the Spinraza treatment. There's a lot of training that uh, they have to go through. So again, this is all new. It's a fluid situation, so it's going to be changing day by day. Now remember, all of these results that I'm giving you right now were the results that they gave in the webinar last week. So again, some of these results or some of these numbers that I'm giving you may have already changed. The next slide that you're seeing on your screen talks about new sites. 
Right now, there's about 80 sites that are being communicated with. There's 25 sites on the list that have been confirmed to give the Spinraza treatment. And there's 18 states with at least one injection site. Okay, so again, expect a waiting list. Uh, you're not going to get approval and go in the next day and start your treatment. It is going to take a little while to get everything started. The next slide that you're seeing talks about the different sites within the United States. All the states in this list that are in purple are sites that are administering Spinraza. And I live in Texas, so all the states that are in yellow do not have any sites at this time, or they didn't as of last week, with regards to administering the Spinraza treatment. Okay, so if I wanted to take the treatment and if I got approved for it, and if I could start tomorrow, I would have to travel to either uh, California or Florida or any state shaded in purple. Their ultimate goal is that each state will have multiple injection sites. So that way you won't have to travel near as far. Because if I had to travel to Florida or California for my treatment, the just the travel cost would be exorbitantly expensive. So give it some time. You will have sites in your area. Uh, again, their goal is that you shouldn't have to travel probably 50 to 100 miles to receive your treatment. And if that's the case, uh, th this could be where everybody could have access to this treatment in a relatively short amount of travel time. The next slide that you're seeing on your list talks about insurance coverage. Now, these are the insurance companies that they showed during the webinar. That doesn't mean that these are the only insurance companies. But they talked about Anthem, United Health, Humana, Aetna, Cigna, and Medicaid by state. And as you can see, most of the insurance companies, or the first three at least, have approved SMA Type 1 for Spinraza. Now, I've got uh, Medicare Gold covered by Humana, and Humana is not covering SMA Type 3 at this time. Am I discouraged? Absolutely not. Because again, like I said earlier, this is fluid. It's going to be changing. Most, if not all, insurance companies will probably approve the Spinraza treatment. They're just needing more data before they can make this, this agreement. So you can go through this list and see if your insurance company is covering it. But again, if, it, if it's not covering it right now, don't worry. I, I can almost guarantee you things are going to change. The last slide that you're seeing talks about next steps. If you know of a doctor or a hospital that is interested in becoming an site or becoming a site that does the Spinraza treatments, you can send an email to patientcare at curesma.org and you can see this email address in the slide. So if you know of a doctor that wants to do it, uh, send an email with their name, their location, and their phone number and CureSMA will then take over and call them and get them started on the path to becoming an injection site. Okay, so they'll do all the work for you. You just need to give them the information and let them do the work. You know, guys, all this is new, but it's coming out real fast now. More and more sites are being determined. More and more people are wanting this treatment. And I think uh, you're really going to see a change in the next couple of months. Something that we should all be excited about. If you like what I have to say, guys, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, send me an email or just send me a message down below this video. I promise I'm going to answer each and every question. It may take me a while, but I promise I will get to them, okay? I hope you guys have a, a great day. God bless you, and until next time.